Hello all. In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect QRadar with CP4S using Edge Gateway. Prerequisite for this video will be QRadar installed hosted IP, Edge Gateway, root certificate and intermediate SSL certificates to have secure connection. Also, it will require a QRadar authentication token. So what it will achieve? It is a security information and event management solution that helps security teams to accurately detect and prioritize threats across the enterprise. It will provide intelligent insights that enable team to respond quickly to reduce the impact of incidents. So let's see how we we'll, can achieve this. So this is our CP4 resistance logged in through our enterprise LDAP user. Says connected data source. Click on IBM Curator, Curator on Cloud. Click on Next. Curator Connection. With CP4S. This IP is a Curator console IP which we are going to connect with. So this edge gateway we will be using test edge gateway connection. So what is an edge gateway serves as a network entry point for devices typically talking to cloud services. They also often provide network translation between networks that use different protocols. We will keep host port as 443. So these are the default parameters mentioned here. Are the parameters used to run the search query on QRadar? You can, you may change it if required. For this video, we can keep as it is. So these are the connection certificate required to connect with QRadar. You can get this through this link. Just enter your QRadar hosted IP over here and you can get the root certificate and individual certificate. Over here. We will add the configuration. So this is the QRadar authentication token. This configuration. Let's cross check everything is entered. So here you can see our data sources for QRadar has been added. Let's wait till it established a connection. So here you can see our QRadar connection has been established. We will run a query around it. So click on the menu, go to data explorer, start a query. There are many different queries over here we, you can run through. I will select a URL and it's URL value over here. We can use this, any of this operator. I will be using as a value. So here we can see all the data source connection we have established with CP4S. Let's select our own QRadar connection and run a query. So you will be saying that uh, seeing that your six results is been running over here and it will fetch you some output. Let's see our query status is still it is running over here. Let's wait till it gets completed. So these are the partial results here. You can see the status of it. Yeah, now it's completed. You have, it has given it some output for our run query. So similarly, you can run for different types of queries on our data source connection. Thank you.